I, I love history, I really enjoy it. And I think I, it appeals to me so much uh, because I'm a complete terrorist. I think everything is shaped by one way before. I think each one of us uh, is shaped by the things that influence us when we were younger. And in the case of our generation, and what influenced us, really I'm talking about what television we watched. And we watched some great TV, TV with real messages, TV that could teach you about the world, programs like Power Rangers. Surely the only program ever written for an audience of six-year-old boys by six-year-old boys. <laughs> because how else could it have attained that combination of all the things six-year-old boys most enjoy? Dinosaurs, <laughs> monsters, fighting, and role models I can learn from. <laughs> and of course, the great thing about Power Rangers was that those role models had their personalities color-coded in a way very easily understandable to six-year-old boys. The Red Ranger was cool. The Pink Ranger was a girl. <laughs> the Black Ranger was black. The Yellow Ranger was Asian. And the White Ranger was the leader. Simple, clear messages. <laughs> The other thing that really influenced me when I was, when I was growing up was my, my grandparents. I'm just, I'm just in awe of my grandparents and the whole generation. It's incredible to think about sort of the privation that they endured and how that compares to our generation and how uh, sheltered we've been fortunate enough to be. I remember when I was younger, my grandpa would beckon me into the lounge, sit me on his knee, tell me, in the old days, when I was your age, You'd come home from school, and your house would have been strafed to the ground by doodlebugs. You'd come home, you'd find Mr. Hitler and Mr. Mussolini dancing the Charleston in the kitchen. And that's why you should never trust the Japanese. <laughs> Whereas what's the worst that any of our generation has ever been through? I can imagine myself uh, many years from now beckoning my grandchild into, into the living room, not the lounge, social mobility. Uh, sitting, them, <laughs> sitting them on my knee, telling them, in the old days, when I was your age, You'd come home from school, and you'd really, really want to play Goldeneye. But for no reason, the cartridge just wouldn't work. And you'd try everything, you'd playing it, you'd blowing it, wouldn't work for no reason. So frustrating. Bloody Nintendo. And that's why you should never trust the Japanese. <laughs> but, 